Welcome to my let's play of Train Valley 2. One of the most fun type games I've ever played was Train Valley and Train Valley 2 has not only managed to continue what Train Valley did but it's added to it. It really is a good game. Last time around I think I completed the farm scenario which was scenario 2. This time around I'm going for the sand quarry. Now, unlike Train Valley, you don't just have to move trains from one place to another, you actually have to move resources and workers to the right place, which actually requires a lot more thought than the original Train Valley. However, doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to be good at it. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is pause. A new generation, a new train generation is now available. Progress isn't cheap, but the new and upgraded engines are faster and pull more cars. Okay, so I can upgrade my trains with what little money I've got. Where are my workers? Okay, my workers are there, and they want glass right now. That generates glass, but requires sand, which requires workers. And that re also requires bricks. And that generates bricks, but requires sand and workers. And I've got to buy that building. Okay, so first off, I need, oops, did not mean to go a strange angle, however, how do I get down there? Let me see if I can figure, okay, I've lost control. First off, uh, well, that's going to cost me a fair amount of cash, and that needs, okay, sand is my most important thing right now. That's going to cost me 15,000 to get there. However, right off we go. Now if I can... I don't have 6,000 just yet, do I? I've got 5,000. Okay, I need to get the workers down there, dig out the sand get an extra thousand so I can bring it I get an extra two thousand apparently I'm completely out of cash I need to get loads of workers moving right now yes I have time limits one of which is seven minutes thirty seconds which of no way I'm gonna meet avoid train crashes okay always good spend at least sixty five thousand I've currently spent twenty thousand Okay, I'll send you some more workers down there on the third train, because when the first one gets there, I'll have enough money to connect that to that. And send out another train and send it over there. train spare send it that way too the more trains you can keep going at the same time the better ah ok I need to connect that to there as well don't I ok we've got three bits of sand connect that over there flip that okay, how do I get that built ok You're full of workers, so there's no point in sending any more workers to you. So we'll send more sand out there. Then I need to send more workers down that way. I don't have 10,000 to upgrade a train. I'll get you started, even though I'm going to pause you part way. Because I don't actually have a problem with pausing you as such. Like about there. go. Send some more workers out behind you. Hopefully it won't catch up. And we can send the glass out of there. Out 
out of there. So need some more workers, but also need some more sand right about now. Flip that up. Dispatch another train with sand. some cash now haven't I? I can build that. Pause. Go. Pause. Ah, okay, interesting. Let me think about this for a millisecond. Okay, I'm going to need to get workers from there to there, and I'm going to need to get that down to there. Can I go this general direction? Oh, I can. That's nice. So we can get sand to go to you. glass yet. Okay, I need to send workers down to the sand place, don't I? Okay, pause, let me think. Build mode. afford to do that. I have 10,000 left. Right, I'm going to upgrade that train. Go that way. Get me workers there. Uh, I still need two panes of glass, apparently, so... which I do have, but I don't have a train. I can't afford to upgrade a train. Or, sorry, I can't afford to buy a new train. That at least takes three workers at a time. I doubt I'll do this in nine minutes either. Oh, I only had one prepared. Okay. Us to the sand pit. Let uh, me upgrade another train. Good. Send me some more workers to that way. Hopefully, I don't need any more glass. I just need four sets of bricks, of which. I currently have three there. And if I hadn't sent those workers, I could have got the sand there required for this bit. need is you lot to create some more bricks which you probably won't do in the time limit to get me to the 7 minute 30 second time frame I need one set of bricks guys, just one that's all I need oh you're on a fast train maybe you will get in there in the under 7 minutes 30 seconds Considering you're a fast train. That went better than I had any right to expect then. That should be everything delivered. Whoa! My first ever attempt at this one and I get five stars the very first time. Spent 68,000, avoided train crashes, which is always good, and took seven minutes and one second. 
I had 7 minutes and 30 seconds to get the full 5 stars. Cool! That was good fun! Once I'd figured out what I was doing and where the actual... Train Valley, the the you may have a, plenty of obstacles around, but the land did not slope. This one you now have valleys, troughs, and basically hills, which you have to navigate. Which is something I hadn't considered when I started that one. It gives you only certain ways you can go round. That's a nice touch. Okay, that's where I'm going to end this episode. One minor point in case you're not aware. If you get this game on Steam. It apparently comes with... Well, it has 14 trading cards. Of which I believe it will you will get seven for free when you um, play this game over time. But 14 seems rather a lot. Some of them are very pretty pictures, but in case you weren't aware, there are a bunch of trading cards available pretty much immediately from the very first time you start playing. So if you like Steam trading cards, that's also an added bonus for you. Right, that's why I'm definitely going to end this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I certainly enjoying this game. Compared to some of the recent train games I've been playing, i.e. Conduct Deluxe, this is such a nicer change of pace. It's slower, it requires more thought, but the scenery is so nice. You're not frantically clicking things, and I do enjoy that about these games. They are relaxing as well as being fun and enjoyable. Okay, I'll shut up now. Uh, hopefully I will see you down the road for more of Train Valley 2 in the near future. Cheerio, chaps!